Hey guys, it's been a while since we've been back to Banana Ranch. Um, and of course the reason I stopped earlier or why I hadn't come back to it for a while was because... Well, I mean it was a beta, we only had Mooka available, but now... We actually have uh, Finn and Yoki available, so that's pretty cool. Finn is uh, you know, our usual, a red hair, not really a lone shark, but totally a lone shark in the back. And of course, Yoki the chicken. And we're going to be getting caught in soon. So I'm actually kind of excited about that. So as a result, now that we have more options to interact with, I was like, okay, let's come back to it, see what happens. Because sometimes like on the days we can't interact with Mooka, it's like, okay, what do you do? You know, sure, go outside town, but it kind of got like, mm, you know, I want to have those other characters to still interact with even to like see some events happening. So let's actually check on Finn. Okay, so. Now that we can finally interact with Finn, let's give him a little talking to. Hey there, Finn. Let's spend some time together. Whoa, what do you want, human? What are you even scheming this time? Eh? I'm not scheming anything, though. I just want to be friends with you. Huh. I don't want to be friends with you, though. Mm. Hey, what are you looking at me so pitifully for, b baka <laughs> <laughs> of course he's a soon Dara. I want to be friends with you, but you're not willing to be friends with me. Ah, fine. Let's be friends. Hooray! Tch, so annoying. Okay, so let's actually... Well, let's talk to him. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. We have to pay our debt. Actually, I, I, he's a debt collector. That's what... I, I said loan shark. He's, but yeah, I was trying to remember. It was debt collector. Don't forget to pay your debt next month. It's on fifth on the fifteenth each month. Pay attention to your calendar. Ugh, I know you don't have to keep reminding me about that. Hey Finn, let's spend some time together. Tch, why do you think I'd want to spend time with a dumbass-looking human? Oh well, since I'm such a kind shark, I'll accompany you for a while. Awesome! We finally get all oh, it. It's such cute little chibis. I like it. Your relationship has gotten closer with. Finn. Hey, you human. Oh no, hey you. Hu Actually, shouldn't it be hey you, comma human? Regardless, hmm? Are you referring to me? Of course it it's you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, but it's supposed to be of course I'm talking to you. Who else it Oh, who else is a human around here, huh? Oh, but there's Klein too over there. There's Klein over there too, right? Klein 2 over there. That that doesn't sound exactly right. I don't friggin' know him. Well, in order to prevent any further misunderstanding, I think it's better if you just refer to me by my name. How about that? What's wrong? Ah, don't tell me. You forgot of my name? It, it's not because my memory is bad, okay? I'm just too used to referring to you as a human. Ugh. Oh well, I'll just reintroduce myself. My name is Bon. Don't forget it this time, okay? <laughs> I'm not as forgetful as you think. So, what do you want to talk to me about? Right. I was so distracted by your vile tactics that I forgot to say what's truly important. Uh... As you expected, human, your tactic is really out of my imagination. I really have to be more wary of you. Alright, so what exactly do you want to talk to me about? Well, I want to ask you an important question. Tell me, what is your purpose in getting so close to me? Are you doing it to wipe your debt from, uh, wait. Oh, are you doing it for me to wipe your debt or something? Is that your purpose? I suggest you give up right away. Hold up, I'm gonna check on my doggo. Okay, I'm back. Huh? No, no, I don't have that purpose. I just want to get closer to you. I just want us to be friends. Oh, what's that? I want us to be friends. <laughs> I don't need any human to be my friend. Aw, oh, what a meanie. <laughs> he then coldly turns and walks away. Or maybe he's like, I don't know, maybe he had trauma in the past. Maybe uh, he, he doesn't keep anybody close because he lost a friend or something. Who knows? No, he's still being a bit defensive to me. Still, everything is possible as long as I put in the effort. I hope me and Finn can become friends one day. Good friends. <laughs> All right, nighttime. So, 
Um, oh yeah, that's right. So, the 15th is coming up soon, so... Let's see, we should check our stats. Um... I know technically we were pursuing Mooka before, but... Who knows, that might actually change. Um... We have a lot of fishing, or we have a good amount of fishing skill. And then... We need to maybe increase our charm and knowledge. Maybe even our courage, too. And our cooking. Actually, we just need to increase everything. Um, we have a good amount of money, but... How much does he collect each year? Let's see, does it say... 2,500! I think we're good. <laughs> I don't think we need to worry about that at the moment. Maybe uh, going into... Yeah, as it goes on. But we're still good. Like, we're still really good. Um, okay, so in that case... Um... Oh, and then we have the quest. Oh, right. Okay. And we still don't know what this might mean. Red mushroom spur, green mushroom spur. Okay. And I think if we bring um, the other characters along, we can make that easier. So maybe... I think um, we should... Hmm... Okay, so yeah, you, let's watch. I think a horror movie will increase courage. Romance would increase charm. Not sure if the news would increase intelligence. But let's actually start with courage. Like, I don't know. I have a feeling either romance or courage might be needed for... Um, hmm. I don't know. Well, we'll just find out. I spend the remaining night watching a horror movie. Yay, courage, yes. Uh, let's see. Let's also check on Yoki since now we can interact with him as well. Oh, there he is. Hey, Yoki! Huh? Oh, it's just you, Bon. Jeez. Even if you're my employer, you can't disturb my sleep. Ah, uh, sorry about that, but why are you sleeping here? Why not? I can sleep anywhere. Whoops, I mean, ever. <laughs> it's everywhere. I can sleep everywhere. I'm a flexible chicken. Why don't you go back home to sleep instead? <laughs> you amateurs don't understand. Feeling's totally different. I'm sorry, I really don't understand. All right, spend time with Yoki. Hmm? You want to spend time with me? Well, I guess we could sleep here together. Okay, good night. <laughs> I spend the rest of my day hanging out with Yoki. Wait, I'm just gonna look at something really quick. Okay. I can feel us getting closer with each other. Oh, okay, so I guess we gotta do more events to actually get them to talk. Or more hanging out, I should say. So, oops, wrong one. Let's keep encouraging our... Encouraging. Let's keep increasing our courage. Um, let's see. So, Yoki's over there. Finn's over there. Um, let's see if we can get an event with Yoki. Oh, right, and then he still needs his thing. Okay, 15 slimes. All right, we'll uh, still deal with Yoki first. I want to see an event with him. Okay, let's see if we're lucky enough. It's really cute chibi, though. Oh my god, this is adorable. Today, me and Yoki are going to the library. Heck yeah. Uh, so we're going to nap here now? Of course. What else are we supposed to do in the library? Well, maybe read books. No way. Library's made to nap in. All right, then. The librarian would probably cry if he ever heard that. Anyway, let's find a nicer spot for napping. This spot is not good enough. What is the criteria for a nice spot? It's complicated to explain, but... Depending on the sunlight position, some spots are just warmer and comfier to nap at. I see. Sure sounds complicated. Yoki stands up and walks around a bit to inspect the area. Hmm, this spot should do good enough. Alright, let's have a nap then. Okay! Before long, Yoki's already fast asleep. Huh, 
He can really fall asleep anytime, anywhere, huh? I'm not really feeling sleepy, so I get up and grab some educational books to read. After grabbing some economy and business management books, I sit beside Yoki and start reading. I really feel like an idiot after reading this book. Why can't I understand any of these terminologies? At some point, I notice a warm breath near my face. What are you reading? Yoki, who was still sleeping, is now casually resting his head on my shoulder for some reason. Ah, Yoki! Why are you up already? Well, I heard a lot of grunting noises in my sleep. Ah, did I make those noises? I'm sorry. Never mind that. What are you reading? It's a book for business management. I want to learn more on how to manage a ranch. The ranch. My ranch. <laughs> oh, sounds tiring. But I don't understand most of these terminologies. I can't keep up. Wait, wasn't Yoki like the best in his grade or something? Like he was actually the best in chicken school or whatever? Hmm. What do you want to know about? Well, this one. What does it mean exactly? Oh, that. After that, Yoki began to explain the meaning of those terminologies to me. I keep asking him for more questions, but he manages to answer all my questions with ease. Whoa, how do you know all that? I might not look it, but I used to be a good student. How good? Well, I was the top graduate. Wait, that's my dog. Let me see what he was. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> wow! Come on, teach me more. Tch, what a pain. I still want to nap. It's for the sake of our beloved ranch. Fine. Yoki moves closer to me and plops his head on my shoulder. Uh, why this pose? This way I won't get so tired and can nap in between the questions. Wow, you're very efficient in, regarding, in regards to napping. Come on, what do you want to ask about? Oh, okay. I spend the rest of the day learning from Yoki. I learned a lot today. I really didn't expect Yoki to be a good teacher. I should ask him to teach me again some other times. Damn. All right, that's cute. That's really cute. Yoki, Yoki would help uh, bond, uh, you know, should they uh, marry and all that stuff, probably. All right, let's keep him ready. Actually, where is our courage yet? Courage? I mean, yet? Wow. Where is our courage at? Um. Wow, it, it's, yeah, it's only getting small boost. We're going to have to do more than just TV eventually, so... Let's still keep watching it, though. It's a, it's a boost nonetheless. Okay, so I gotta pause the recording because he's going to... Oh! Oh, well, this is a surprise. The sudden knocking on the door wakes me up. Hey, kid! From outside the door, an unfamiliar voice is calling out to me. Kid, was that referring to me? The sun has risen. Come on, it's time to wake up. Is he here to give me a wake-up call? Anyway, it's rude to not answer. I should at least give him a reply. Yes, I'm up. Do you need anything from me? Wait, but isn't it from me? But if you're up, then come to the town plaza quick. Huh? The town plaza? Why? Why, it's the flower festival, of course. You'll regret if you miss it, miss this once-in-a-year event. Oh, wow. They, yeah, it's just like Harvest Moon and all that stuff. They have their little flest festivals. Oh, my gosh. Festivals. All right! Flower festival! That's right, today's the flower festival. How could I forget about it? Yes, yes, I'm coming. I hurriedly prepared myself and run towards the town plaza. Oh, there you are. That's pretty quick. It seems like you're pretty enthusiastic about this festival. Of course, it's a festival after all. Festival means celebration, right? I'm definitely going to join in the fun. I'm glad to hear that. Anyone who likes festivals is definitely welcomed in this town. Are definitely wait anyone who likes festivals are yeah are definitely welcomed in this town it seems that you're indeed a good human by the way you're interested in the flower festival right you, you want to know more about it right you want me to tell you more about it right uh yeah why did it get all excited all of a sudden great then as you wish I'll tell you all about the flower festival a century-long tradition in this town the mayor then begins to tell uh, the long history of, of the, the long history of flower festival. The flower festival. Long, long ago, there lived a pair of merry... Oh my god. <laughs> a pair of 
ma of married couple. A pair of married couple. There lived a married couple in in this here banana town. In, in, in banana town. They lived deep inside the mountain. One day, the husband went to the mountain to pick up some crimson flowers to give to his wife as celebration for the as a celebration for the two's for, for their anniversary. However, during the mountain trip, there was a sudden big storm. The husband was unfortunately caught up in I'm sorry, but was unfortunately caught up in this misfortune. Oh my god. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> Why? This this is they they need a beta reader. The the developer needs a beta reader. I am 100% sure of that. They need a beta reader like myself. Too bad I'm like I have a spring break right now from my career path, so I'm very fortunate to be been, to be able to do all this. Uh, I've been trying to get him what videos I can, but oh my goodness. Hearing the news of her husband's sudden disappearance, the wife was extremely distressed. She prayed and prayed and prayed to the god, wishing for her husband's safe homecoming. However, years passed and the husband was still nowhere to be found. The wife didn't give up. She kept praying every day without fail, wishing for her husband's safety. Then, miracles suddenly happened. No, a miracle happened. A miracle happened. That's all I need to say. One spring day, after the whole 14 years had passed, after, after a whole full 14 years passed from his disappearance, the husband returned back home. Okay, repeating again. The husband returned back home, bringing with him a bouquet of crimson flowers. Since then, crimson flowers have been used as a symbol of true love in our town. And that was the beginning of this, of our town's century-long flower festival. It was such a good story, wasn't it? When I first heard this story, I kept crying for seven days and seven nights. Jesus, dude, what? <laughs> hey, Bon, are you still there? <laughs> Bon fell asleep. Hey, where are you sleeping? Whoa! Sorry, without realizing it, I fell asleep halfway through the story. Wait, halfway the story? Oh my god. I tried my best to stay awake, I really did. Please believe me. Well, at least you la lasted half the story. Others don't usually last that long. Eh? So I was already above average? Yes, one cheeky little chick. I even slept as soon as I opened my mouth. <laughs> That's Yoki. That cheeky little chick sure sounds familiar. On the festival day, you're supposed to give... Oh my god. You're supposed to give a flower wreath to your special someone. It is said that... <sighs> god of Love is just a name now, isn't it? It's not THE God of Love. It's God of Love. That That's just his name. That's his, that's his first name entirely. I'm joking. It is said that the God of Love will give blessings of eternal love to those who do. The God of Love? Is he talking about the same God of Love that I know? Anyway, I've told you all about this, so you'll definitely participate in the festival, right? Right? Yes, yes, I'll participate. You don't have to keep shaking my body like this. Whew. It seems all my effort has paid off. Mm, how exactly do I participate? Well, to begin with, you need to make a flower wreath. To do it, go and talk to Saber, and he'll help you with it. Saber? Ah, that's Noir's uncle. Wait, he can make a flower wreath? Wait, have we even met Saber yet? We've met Noir, but we haven't... Who's... Who's Saber? <laughs> it seems that you really can't judge a book from its cover. Oh, it seems that you really can't judge a book from its cover. Once you're finished making it, you can give the flower wreath to the person you want to get closer with. If he feels the same as you, you might. he might also give you a flower wreath. After exchanging flower wreaths, you two will dance in the middle of the town plaza to ask for the blessing of the gods. I can guarantee you that this method is 100% effective to harvest affection. Don't miss a one in a once in a oh a once in a year chance to gather some love points. Okay then, I'll do it. Great, I'll be looking forward to your dance bond. Uh, it's too bad like Cotton is not a choice yet because Cotton is he's precious. Uh, I don't dance at all, though. Uh, I can't dance at all, though. Oh, well, I'm sure everything will turn out okay in the end. Well, then, it's time to go find Noir's uncle. Yeah, where, where is, is that, is that Noir's uncle? Wait, maybe we did meet him. Okay, I'm sort of remembering him now. Ugh, 
You want to make a flower wreath, Vaughn? Yes, I don't know how to do it, though. It's okay, I'll help you out. Just follow my instructions carefully. Aye, aye, sir. It's done. Oh, nice job, bun. Bon. No, I said bun. It looks pretty. Thank you very much. It's all because you taught me well. You're welcome. By the way, who are you giving it? Who are you going to give it to? By chance, are you giving it to my nephew? Huh? Well, I can't. He's not an option. But I'm going to make a quick save here just in case I, I can somehow. I mean, that would be amazing. But he's he's not an option yet. But I'll, I'll, I'll see what happens when I press it. Yes, I'm planning to give it to him. Really? That's great. I might finally be able to see him dance this year. I need to prepare the camera. Did no one ever give him a flower wreath before? Uh, I said, uh. Well, many attempted to, but he rejected them all. Oh, then he might not accept my flower wreath as well. No, I think he'll accept yours. Why? Just a feeling. I think he likes you a lot. Really? Well, I sure hope that's true. It's probably not true. Anyway, off you go. I hope your flower wreath will be accepted. Thanks, I'll do my best. I mean, we could see... What? Oh, I didn't click on them, but... Ah, shoot, I didn't get to... Oh, man. I wonder... Wait, what's this do? I don't want to press it accidentally. Of course he's... Per uh, of course he's participating. Right, Bon? Well... Yep, of course you'll be participating. Today's event is the most prime day to harvest love's interest, love point. Love interests, lo your love interests love points. Wow, that is a, a mouthful. <laughs> I didn't even get to say anything. Well, I've been planning to participate anyway. Okay, so... No. Ah, okay, Tom Nook. Looking at these energetic couples, I feel so old. <sighs> I just want to go home and do nothing for an entire day. Okay, I'm trying to drag the screen. Looks like I have to grab the top. Oh yeah, this guy. I love this guy. I like festival days the most. Why? Because the town plaza is the most crowded on festival days, which means my goods are selling the best on festival days. I, I see. What kind of goods is he selling again? <laughs> All right, so let's let's go and find Noir. See if we could actually do something about that. Um, see if he would actually accept the wreath. Otherwise, we'll just reload. Oh my gosh, maybe it might work. Who knows? When I walk into the woods, I spot a familiar cat sleeping under the tree. Ah, it's Noir. Hmm, what should I do now? I decide to walk up to him. Noir sleeps with one hand, uh, one of his hands, I mean, one of his arms on his, on the back of his head. Heh, <laughs> he's sleeping so peacefully. He doesn't even seem to realize my presence yet and still snoozes away. Hey, come to think of it, this is really great timing, isn't it? Wait, did he say this is a really great timing? Yes, this is an amazing opportunity to make Noir wear the flower wreath I've made. Oh, I guess maybe we can. He really doesn't like to be associated with the word cute, even though he really is. So, he definitely he definitely refused to put, on, uh, put the cutesy flower wreath on top of his head. He seems to be in a deep sleep and won't wake up easily. This is a great chance. I must not waste it. Cautiously squat beside him, trying hard not to make any no You should just wake him first. This is a bad idea, Bon. Damn! Damn, though! That is some cake right there. I can't- Oh, yeah, whoops. <laughs> trying hard not to make any noise. Okay, here goes. I stretch out my hand to place the flower wreath on top- On the top of- On top- Well, I guess the flower wreath on top of Noir's head. Mm. All of a sudden, the cat that has been- Docilely sleeping suddenly makes a humming sound. My hand that has been stretched out immediately stiffens in place. Whoa, is he gonna wake up? Fortunately, before long, his even breathing can be heard again. Whew, that really surprised me. Seeing that the situation is safe, I confidently place the flower wreath on top of Noir's head. Hooray, it's a success. I start staring at the result of my hard work. Noir, who is usually so grumpy, is now sleeping peacefully with both eyes closed. The pretty flower wreath is adorning his head. This is too cute! Aw, oh, if only I had a camera, I would totally snap a picture and show it off to everyone! But if Noir found out about that, he'd totally not let me go. 
I keep myself busy with my thoughts, not realizing that someone has been pulled from the dream world thanks to the sound of my giggling. What are you doing? Whoa! Flustered, I immediately st take my stretched out hand back. Y you've woken up? Yeah, thanks to your annoying giggling. Uh, I'm so sorry. Huh, annoying human. Anyway, what were you doing just now? Uh, n no, I didn't do anything. I was just looking at you napping. Really? Y yeah. I nervously stare at the top of his head. What should I do? I haven't taken off the flower wreath yet. Noir seems to realize there's something wrong on top of his head. He then grabs his head with the right hand taking off the flower wreath. What is this? He stares at the, at the thing that was just on top of his head with disgusted eyes. <laughs> well, it's a flower wreath. And why is this annoying cutesy wreath on top of my head? Well, you know, today's the flower festival, so I thought to make you join the festive... Noir stares at me with judging eyes. Anyway, flower wreath... Did they, did they during... I don't know, I feel like during the, uh, the creation... Flower wreath is an object that they'll just put the descriptor for. Like, you kind of descript it so it appears automatically within a sentence. But it really should be, at that point, called the flower wreath. Because every time it comes up, it's treated like as if it's a name. When it shouldn't be. <laughs> it's an object that there could be multiple of. The flower wreath isn't a cutesy thing at all. You look very manly wearing this flower wreath. Think I'm a fool? Well, m maybe not manly, but your handsomeness is enhanced by this wreath. I've always looked good since I was born. Well, aren't you very confident? Though I can't exactly deny that. Oh, he's still wearing it! So, you're going to participate in that dumb festival? Yes, of course! I've made the flower wreaths and all. Uh, flower wreaths and all. After all. <laughs> You made this. Yes! Hmm. It's not too bad, I guess. Not bad. That means it's good, isn't it? It seems he doesn't hate the flower wreath as much as I thought. The thing on top of your head. <laughs> I made this flower wreath for myself. When I made yours. Does it look good? No. Take it off. Eh? Why? It's ugly. Eh? Even though I'm complaining inside my heart... I still obediently take off the flower wreath. Wait, why is this one ugly and the one from before not bad? They're exactly the same. I'll make you a better one. Huh? Wait, did I hear it wrong? Did Noir just say he was gonna make me one? Really? You're really gonna make me a flower wreath? If you keep annoying me like this, I won't make it anymore. Okay, okay, I'll stay put. He then quite... He... he <clears throat> He then quietly gathers several wildflowers and skillfully makes the flower wreath. Whoa! Why are you so good at this? Is this your secret hobby or... Uh-oh. Uh, no, no, I didn't say anything. Please, just ignore me and my clumsy mouth. Huh. It's done. On the ground in front of Noir, there's a skillfully made flower wreath with the exact same design as the one I just made. Wow! It looks exactly the same as the one I made! How did you accomplish that? Huh, it's easy. Only dumb humans like you can't do it. Amazing, you're so amazing. Go and put it on quickly. Right away. All right, I, I don't know if I read that before I had to interrupt for another thing. Sorry, I keep interrupting myself so much. <laughs> I quickly placed the flower wreath on top of my head. How is it, does it look good? Once again, I ask him the same question. It's not bad. After that, Noir suddenly stands up and stretches his, and, oh, no, that's still wrong, and stretches out his hand to me. What is this for? Let's do it. Do what? That stupid dance, of course. What else? Oh, right! The dance part is crucial for the flower festival. But aren't we supposed to dance at the town plaza? Hm. No one says that's a must. Well, you've got a point. So, are you gonna do the dance or not? Don't waste my time, human. 
Yes, definitely yes. I immediately take his stretched out hand, and then he drags me up. After that, we clumsily start dancing in the dense forest, just the two of us. Hey, you did... <laughs> you dare step on my feet. That, that just doesn't sound right. You dare step on my feet. Like, it doesn't sound like... Did you step on my feet? Sounds like something he would actually say. Like, you dare. Like, it, it's too proper sounding for him. I don't know. Sorry, I suck at dancing, so I might step on your feet a few more times. A few more times? You've stepped on my feet ten times already. Uh-oh, he's been counting. Then, should we stop dancing now? No. He quickly refuses my suggestion. Well, you'll have to endure having your feet stepped on several more times then. Sorry in advance. Huh. Hopeless human. His mouth is hard. <laughs> his mouth is hard, but his heart sure is soft. <laughs> He's so cute. What are you laughing about? It's nothing. After the dance is over, Noir quickly takes off the flower wreath... Wait, to quickly takes off the flower wreath off of his head. Noir takes the flower wreath off of his head. He quickly takes it, he quickly takes the flower wreath off his head. What? <laughs> like, why, why can't it? Oh my God. Uh, at this point, I'm like, you know what? Just hire me, I'll do this on the side. Like, I, hire me as your your grammar person. I, I will do it <laughs> at this point. Though he looks at it with disgusted eyes, he takes the wreath back with him and he walks away. Well, I guess it's time for me to go back to. Even though we didn't really manage to join the festive, it was still really fun. I didn't think I'd really be... I'd really... Able. I'd really able. I didn't think I'd really be able to get Noir to celebrate the flower festival with me. That was a great memory for sure. Something I keep remembering even after I grow old. With that thought in mind, I return back home. But he's not a dateable option. You know what? Let's let's check that. You know, you know what? Yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna check that real quickly. Um, so I'm just gonna pause and um, you know, especially when you know what's. Oh, okay, no, never mind. Okay, so uh, debt collectors are here. Oi. Hmm. Finn, why are you at our ramp? How did you forget? No, he would forget. He would. Huh? Don't tell me you've forgotten. About what? About your ranch is freaking dead, of course. Today's the debt collection day. Ha! Huh, today's the due date already? Don't you ever check your calendar. Well, I checked it, but I might have subconsciously tried to forget about the debt repayment day. <sighs> well, no matter how much you try to avoid it, you still need to pay up anyway. Time to hand over your money. Otherwise, the ranch might have to be shut down. Uh, no, not just not that. Or rather, probably anything but that. Do I still have enough money to pay pay off the debt? I sure hope so. Huh. You actually have the money. Color me impressed. All right, then. I'll take my leave first. You don't have to miss me, though. I'll be back again next month. Uh, I don't miss you at all. Oh, geez. Okay, yeah. On inspection, the... Hodden one might be okay because we don't actually see the shape of his butt. We see his back, so it should be okay. But even then, maybe I might like have to chop, chop it out in post edit. But uh, one thing I'm going to check, as I've mentioned, is I want to check if the uh, what was it? If he is a dateable option after all, because I don't think he is. Oh wait, right, we can't really. Um, this might be a bit sudden, but do you have any job openings at this cafe? Oh, right. What do we need? Uh, I know we've read this before. What was the qualifications? Courage! Okay, good thing I'm raising my courage. Um, okay, so we'll just, uh, we have to find out later when he's off his thing. Um, you know, I have a way to check. So his heart didn't go up. I don't know if maybe it would. So we're gonna try that scene with Finn and then we'll stop the you know the playthrough there. But I'm gonna take a quick look at an earlier like I'm gonna take a quick look at one of the earlier days to see if Noir is a dateable option. I just didn't realize it, but I don't think he is. Okay, so let's see if he is. Just accidentally. Oh, it's you. What do you want? 
What are you doing today? It's your free let's... If Oh, if you're free, let's play together. Huh? Play? Why should I play with you? Well, if you play with me, you'll get to have fun. Huh. Mindless playing is not for cats. Go and find the stupid dog instead. He'll be more happy to accompany you. Uh, okay, then. Okay, yeah, no, he's not an option then. Not yet, at least. Or... Wait, well, we have to test with another character like Klein. Oh, I think the dog needs something again. Hey there, what's up? Wait, spend time with Klein. Okay, no, so we can't... We, there's just no way for us to know at the moment. Anyway, because... Yeah, so I, I want to assume he's not, because I swear, like, he... That would actually... That was... Let me see. You know what? I could check the website. Okay, yeah, as I thought. It's just Mocha, Finn, and Yoki. So, um, as I mentioned, we're going to reload, and we're going to go back to this choice here, and we're going to... You know what? Let me... Wait, wait, wait. Let me see something. Okay, yeah, I've decided we're gonna go after Finn. Um, because, I mean, he... He was especially one of the other options I was, like, really interested in. Um, I only was, like, chasing Mocha because he was the only option, but then the game just got really... It started to drag a little bit. Like, we'll still raise our points with Mocha and Yoki, but, like, you know, Finn for now until Cotton... I mean, Cotton might come along, too. It's just... I don't know when he'll come. We know he's coming soon, but I don't know when. So I'm, like, at this point, I'm just, like, I'm just gonna chase after Finn for now. See how that goes, you know? But I haven't decided yet. No, I haven't decided who to give it to yet. Hmm, I see. Well, that's a pity. I thought I might get to see him dance this year. I want to record it. <laughs> yeah, too bad that doesn't happen. Did no one ever give him a flower wreath before? Well, many attempted to, but he rejected them all. Anyway, off you go. I hope your flower, flower wreath will be accepted. Thanks, I'll do my best. All right, let's find us Finn. He, he should be an option, I'm sure. Talia is there at the clothing store. I've got no time for- Really? For st No! I've got no time for stupid festivals. There's money to be earned every day. I'm giving it to you anyway. I'm gonna give him that god darn wreath anyway, and we'll see how he feels about it then. I bet he wasn't expecting it from this old human. Finn, this is for you. Huh? You're giving this flower wreath to me? Yep, it's the it's for the flower festival. Ha! <laughs> Do you think someone as great as me would participate in such a cringy event? Cool, <laughs> cringe, go to hell! No. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's fitting for him to use that word. In that case, maybe I should give the flower wreath to someone else. Hey, hands off! Whoa! You've given it to me, so now it's mine. You're not allowed to take it back. Then, you'll give me a flower wreath as well? Well, if you insist. I guess I can amuse you for a bit. All right, let's go. I'll give you the best flower wreath ever. Yay! After that, we go deep in the forest where many different kinds of flowers are grown. All right, let's do it. Do you know how to make a flower wreath, Finn? Well, this is my first time doing this. Then you don't know how to do it? Nonsense! A talented shark like me is able to do many things without having to specially learn it beforehand. Wow! <laughs> I'll show you now. Oh, there's a CG and everything! That's so cute! After that, Finn begins to tinker with the flowers. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a snapshot of this. We're gonna use this for the, uh, for the thumbnail, because this is cute. All right, there we go. After that, Finn begins to tinker with the flowers. Hmm. Uh, uh. Well, what's wrong with you, Finn? These flowers are stupid and annoying. I'm not doing this anymore. Ah, oh, it seems he can't make the flower wreath. How about I teach you to make it? Huh. You, a mere human, dare to teach this great shark. You, you see, the, the dare to teach works so much better with Finn because he holds himself, like, yes, um, Noir holds himself in high esteem as like, oh, I'm this great cat, but he's, like, so, he, he's, he, he just, ca he's also a sailor mouth, you know, like, he casually would, he curses like a sailor as well, he's not afraid to just literally say what he means as opposed to Finn, who tries to act cool, he's trying to, like, you know, this is all an act, whereas for Noir, 
it's legit how he is. Like there's a difference between being raw and unfiltered versus Finn, who clearly is having this persona that he needs to be respected. So of course he would speak with higher terms, right? Uh, yeah. Hm, fine, well go ahead. Teach me how this thing works. Okay. I patiently teach Finn the method of making f making a flower wreath. Well, that uh, oops, wrong person. Well, that's how it is. Pretty simple, huh? Of course, it's simple to do for this great shark. You see, this great shark. He even refers to himself in the third person in a you know, like a different type of way. Of course. All right. Oh wait, wrong person. All right, let's do it. Yeah. What? <laughs> Why is he acting like he's off to war? Oh well. After almost an hour, oh, an, oh, oh my gosh, almost, wait, no, an hour later, or almost an hour later, after almost an hour later, after almost an, I don't know, this, this doesn't sit with me. Ha, I did it. I don't know if you'd say hooray. Wow, you did it. Congrats, Finn. <laughs> There's no need to congratulate me for accomplishing such a simple task. Simple task, but you took over an hour to do it. Shut up! If I say it's a simple task, then it's a simple task. Okay, okay. Anyway, go ahead and try it on now. All right. After that, we exchange flower wreaths and put them on our head. Oh my gosh, they actually have a different, like... So there's a meaning. There's a meaning with these flowers, because the flower wreath that was made for Noir and then put on also Bond's head were different flowers so maybe each one for each character has a different meaning i'm actually not sure like i don't recognize these flowers off the bat surprisingly um they do look like bell you know they have a bell shape let me see wow you know actually it has a very fitting meaning at least with uh with finn so it apparently means like you know the, actually so i've never heard this word which is kind of uh you know that's the problem with like english Oh, interesting. So it's vivacity, which means like the quality of being lively and animated. So being like an energetic person. However, the interesting part is it's more of like a using vivacity is more referring to effeminate. Uh, like was it what, what I'm reading here right from Oxford, uh, especially in a woman, the quality of being attractively lively and animated. But then also means danger. So maybe it's because he's a shark, there is a potential, or even because he's a debt collector, there is a potential danger to him, but he's also a very lively, like he's attractive for his liveliness and energy, perhaps. So that's interesting. The angel's trumpet is actually extremely topic, uh, to toxic though, if ingest, or even ingested, uh, like it's fatal. So, wow. That's interesting. That's a very interesting uh, choice. Like, it looks so pretty, though, you know? Yeah, it's called the Angel's Trumpet. Like, damn. Oh, because if you were to eat it, you would go straight to heaven. You would hear the trumpet. I see. Okay, that's funny. There, I put it on. How do I look? Heh, <laughs> looks good. As expected of the great me. I, I don't know if it's the great me, but, you know, as expected from someone as great as I. Do I look good wearing this? You really, you really, wait, did he? Oh, okay, I see how that's, I look good wearing this? You really think so? Huh, only because of my great, cre only because I created it. Your looks are just so-so. <laughs> I like how he just doesn't even care about that. Anyway, now that we both have our flower wreaths on, should we go back to the town plaza? Huh, what for? We're going back to dance, of course. Dance, <laughs> I'm not going to do such a pointless thing. It's not pointless, though. If we dance at the town plaza, we'll be able to show, it off, show off our great creation to the entire town. Don't you want others to see your amazing creation? Ooh, smart, Bond. Smart. Huh. You've got a point, human. All right, then. Off to the town plaza we go. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> Finn is so easy to coax. Ooh, Bond. <laughs> Oof, I needed some water as well. Jumping between Bon and Finn's voice is definitely, like, maybe the most tasking. Hmm, there's one big problem we have. What? I can't dance at all! Huh, 
You sure are hopeless, human. Well, it's not like I ever expected you to be able to do that. Then, are we still going to dance? Of course! You've come all the way here. Just follow my lead and we'll be fine. Really? What? You don't believe in me? Well, judging by how confident he was... Judging by how he was so confident in his ability to make the flower wreath before... <laughs> I'll show you my true ability. Uh-oh, who's gonna be stepping on whose feet? After that, the music starts. Finn takes my hand and begins to lead me to to follow his his movements. N not I don't know his movement. No, his movements. What? You really are good at this. <laughs> now you finally believe me. On the other hand, you really suck at this. Since we started, you've already stepped on my feet ten times. <laughs> ten times. That's the magic number for bond dancing. The, the stepping on people's feet ten times. You've been counting? Ah, there's another one. It's already 11 times now. Sorry, I'm really not good at this. This is my first time I've danced like this, you see? This is the first- oh, this is the first time I've danced like this, you see? Uh, you see, oh my gosh, now I'm getting bad. Huh, it's fine. I'm a strong shark with thick skin. Getting my feet stepped on is nothing. Wow! And, I mean, well, he might as well just let him stand on his feet and then guide him that way. Anyway, you're so good at this. You must have been dancing a lot. Well, when I was a kid, my parents often took me to formal banquets where you requ where you required to dance. Oh, he's a high class kid. Like I, I bet he he comes from a wealthy family, but he probably I don't know. Maybe there's something he didn't like about, it. or you know, he became rebellious. He probably became rebellious because you know, in that kind of lifestyle, you're living your parents' dream, not your own. So your freedom of what you can do is limited so perhaps this is why we see him in all this you know kind of what what you'd expect of like was it rock and roll right you know he's got the spikes of leather jacket the torn up shirt it's all anarchy and rebellion he's rebelling against his previous life for him. wow that sounds so cool <laughs> you're such a country bumpkin well excuse me if i have a birthday party in the future i'll give you an invite so you can see more of the world Wow, really? Yeah, I'm a great shark that never breaks my promise. <laughs> then I'll be waiting for that moment to come. We continue to dance until the music ends. At the same time... Oh, look. Oh, wait, I don't know why I thought that was... Oh, look. Oh, looks like that human is finally realizing the weight of his responsibility. Right, at this rate, he'll seduce that guy in no time. Good job, human. You're doing so much better than I thought. Oh, right. Don't forget to give him the love blessing. Oh, that's such a pain, though. Giving... Oh, my God. This translation. I mean, translating is very hard. Translating is very, very hard. Let's let's make that very clear. But that's where a second you know person comes in and you know fixes the grammar. Giving blessings take too much of my spiritual energy, and I need to rest for the entire day to recover it. Giving blessings during the flower festival is literally your only responsibility, and you're still trying to shirk from it. Okay, okay, geez. Huh. Being a god is so tiring at times. That's the end of this year's flower festival. Thank you very much for participating. <laughs> that was really fun. There will be a lot more town activities in the future, and I hope for and I hope for your continued participation. Wow, there'll be even more of these activities in the future. I can't wait. All right. Anyway, what should I do now? Oh, we still have time. What? Wait, so. You did great in today's dance, Bon. <laughs> One step closer to reaching our common goal. Awesome. Ah, jeez. I'm trying to scroll the screen, but it's it's. Uh, I have to like grab up above. Let's talk to Muka. Well, that was really fun, wasn't it? The flower festival is definitely one of the most interesting traditions of this town. Whew. I love this festive atmosphere at Moat. 
the, whoops, the most. I don't know why I saw at. Probably because I looked at atmosphere and I carried that over. It's great to have a day off after a long time. The flower festival event with Thunder and Sterion is not... Oh, yeah, of course. Damn, that would be so cool if we could. Like, they're another pair that I'm interested in. I think they're really cool. Um, but let's go back to the town map. So, I guess let's go follow up with Finn. See what he has to say. You have to take care of that flower wreath I gave you, got it? Of course, I'll forever treasure it. Huh, <laughs> that's good. I'll settle for no less. Aw. Aw. Wait, so did that raise our affinity? Oh, snap! That gave us two hearts! Damn. Alright. So, I think, since we actually have time... Hmm. Wait, maybe we can stop by the clothing store then. They, they will sell me things, right? Why do we still have to work on festival days? It's because the boss is too much of a loser and doesn't have anyone to spend today with. Hey, I can hear you guys, you know. If you keep talking like that, I'll dock your pay this month. Oh, uh, don't dock our pay. Oh, I want to buy clothes. Like, that, that should be a feature, right? Maybe we just can't buy today. Let's see, honey, how he's doing. This year's flower festival is finally over. Unfortunately, I didn't get to dance with anyone this year as well. <sighs> Am I that unattractive? No, I can't get disheartened. I'll try again next year. His move seems to change. His mood seems to change so easily. I, I can't wait for him to be an option too, because he's cute. Um. I guess the Flower Festival, there's not really any, you know, everyone has the day off. So we'll, we'll also, you know, stop for the day then, too. And we'll end the play, the playthrough there. After returning my home, I immediately slept until the morning came. And that means I am po So, I almost forgot that if I hold control, it also speeds up this game. So maybe I need to invest in a different hotkey for my, uh, for when I pause the recording. But, uh, I'll have to manually do that for now. <laughs> you actually have the money. Color me impressed. All right, then. I'll take my leave first. You don't have to. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. We're going to stop there. And, yeah, it's nice to finally come back to Banana Ranch, but have a little bit more to do. Have more, you know, three, two more characters than before to interact with. So that actually lets us do things, you know? It's it's nice. <laughs> Let's us do something when there's nothing else going on. So anyway, hope you all have a good day. See ya.